Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I want to first apologize for not recording RPG Maker like I promised I would, but the cough that I had, it got worse, and I didn't want to have a coughing fit while recording, so I decided to not record anything for a couple of days. I still have a slight cough but it's nowhere near as bad as it was two days ago. And when I mean bad I mean where it pretty much just not takes my breath away but it just it was like overwhelming so I didn't want to have a serious coughing fit and blow your ears out and all that fun stuff for the headphone users or whatever you know or for those that live with their parents and you know your parents might hear someone coughing like extremely bad I didn't want to alarm any one like that at all so yeah but I'm doing better. I didn't have to go to the hospital or nothing. Or take any medication for it or nothing. My immune system is surprisingly quite strong. So, And I, I don't think it was any kind of illness. I think it was literally when I inhaled the person smoking their cigarette smoke. I didn't mean to, but I think that's what it was. So, it's getting better. Like I said, it might get worse again, and if it does, then, you, then you'll know not to expect content for this or anything else. I mean, I do have videos, not for this, backed up for, you know, that I can release, but I do have videos backed up that I can release if I need to, so... <coughs> And don't worry, it's not the pandemic. I can still smell and taste. It's not that. And I said pandemic for a reason. Because I've not had it yet. And I've never had a shot for it. Until I get it, I'm calling it the plan. Because until I'm proven otherwise, it doesn't exist. All right. So Thursday, I got some work done. Again, it wasn't very much, but I got some. You know, I remodeled the the buildings, the housing, the businesses. And I got three more to go. I want to do like I did down here where I have three buildings actually was it two or three I know I know this one and then this one over here as well that's the inn yes and then this is the pub was I could combine those but I honestly don't want to and this was the general store okay yeah so it was only, it was only two so I want to make two buildings the same down here and then just you know so honestly what I could do is this why am I doing that for whenever I can just do this so I'm, I'm going to take this why not I actually do want the statue but not the ch I mean, I am going to add grass around these buildings anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And I want the fort to be smack dab in the middle. And I'll have to add... Oh, it looks weird because of the line. Yeah, 
That's all it is. Okay. Looks weird because of the grid. That's all it is. That's why it looks so awkward. All right. Take this one and then put it close by and just do that. And those two are done. I want these to be the same buildings in all three sections because each section needs guards and then a area for the guards to get their weapons from when they need to get new weapons in case their weapons break so now I don't know how to make it to where the NPCs well I might know how actually no, I think I do Well, no, that would be only during a evented thing. Yeah, only during that. I don't know how to make it to where if the NPC walks into a door on their own, like a random movement, I have no idea how to make them vanish into that door as if they're actually going inside the building. Now, if I were to make the NPCs do something that myself, then that's easy to do. <clears throat> but if I have them on robot control or autonomous control where they move on their own, I have no idea how to do that. I believe actually is that fixed in this version I need to find that real quick hold on um so autonomous movement random <coughs> frequency let's do higher frequency and then let's do let's just do actor 3 and then we want no, we don't want that. If you're a game developer and you have it to where your 2D sprites or your 2.5D or even your 3D sprites or models have the walking animation or I mean the stepping animation when they're not moving, you're 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 idiots. I can see it if they are exercising somehow, like if they're jogging in place. I can see that. But if they're not doing that kind of routine and they're not saying they are in a bubble of text when you talk to them, turn that shit off, please. It is so stupid. Um, direct and fix and through. No. Okay, so random, and then uh, let's see if this is fixed or not. I hope it is. This is another issue that um, RPG Maker has had since I first started using it. Nope, it is not fixed. It is not fixed. See how it's stopping? So it's going to look awkward with... Yeah. Um, highest frequency then how about that so it's going to look awkward with all these NPCs just stopping there's no way to, and there you go that's the only way to fix it and now what if I do two times slower because that was basically him running And we're gonna run into them going back and forth. Yeah, see how see how now it's not doing the stop and go on the highest frequency. 
it should not do that regardless on what frequency it's on. So that is a persistent bug that has been in every iteration of RPG Maker, and they need to f they need to fix that in an update. They really do. And he's walking two times slower than me. So basically, I'm running right now. And I have run turned off for me. I want run turned off for the entire game. But this is what I want to have for, for the entire game is basically NPCs everywhere. Actually, I, I could actually... You know what? Copy. see how much I can have I'm curious I'll delete these afterwards don't worry I want to see how many I can have just as a test And I will delete all of these afterwards, I promise. It'll be tedious to do, but I want to test out the limitations of the engine. This is now a perfect time to do so. Save it and play it. It's running flawlessly. It's running it flawlessly. <laughs> okay. I thought it would be bogged down, but no. It's running it flawlessly. It's going to be like this, but they're, they're, they will... S I'll have some of them walk like this, and then like I'll have people who are older. Of course, they're going to be slower. And they'll be doing the stop and go motion because they're older. But I'll have guards walking like this. So, if it can handle this many NPCs, then surely it can handle more. This is great. I love it. This is great. And I will have some on a set path as well instead of just random lines like this. This is wonderful. I thought it would be I thought it would be bogged down, but no. I mean, it might get bogged down once I add like text to them or whatever because that does add more data to the game because right now each one of these random NPCs are 1 kilobyte of of data. So, once you add more data to them, then it might bog down the game. Who knows? So this was a perfect test to see if it can handle it, handle it or not. And so far, so good. They're all still right here. Oh my god. And this is what I want. Like... If I could have them live their daily lives and actually get code it or program them to live out their lives normally and like go to work or whatever, I would. But unfortunately, I don't think I can. So it's going to be mostly just this, but different looking NPCs walking about, living their false lives, you know. Because since I don't know how to program them to have lives. This was a perfect test though. I love it. I love it. It works. Now I'll get all of these kilobytes of data back on my SS my SSD. My flash drive. Was this basically an SSD before SSDs were invented? Just a lot slower.
Ignore the button presses. I could try to double this, but there's really no point until I add text to them. And what I'll probably try to actually, I want to add that as a um idea, as yeah. So all those events are erased. I'm gonna, I'm going to fake save it because it doesn't actually save, and I showed that off in my review video. And I'm going to actually save it because, you know, gotta love bugs that have been in the program since day one. Hmm. <laughs> Just gotta love them. But I'm going to add another idea real quick. multi page event all right so basically what I'll do is once I get a multiple page event made I'll just copy that event and make it an NPC and I'll just paste it in a in a big giant map like basically all over the entire map and test the engine's ability to see what it see if it gets bogged down or not. And if it does, that'll be unfortunate. But if it does not get bogged down, then we'll know that we're in good business to make. Well, I say we. I'll know that I'm in, able to be in business to make the game that I want. If it does get bogged down, I will have to change plans. Which is not a big deal. I can I can still work with it, but I won't be able to have the city, which is what I'm working on now, completely and utterly just filled with NPCs. And when I mean filled, I mean basically Tokyo. Filled. Oh, I didn't want to do that crap. <coughs> Test. Yeah. Multi. Yeah, okay, there we go. And then do this and save it. Okay. Well, it's not saved yet. Now it is saved. I hope they fix that in the next update if there is one. If there's not, oh well. I mean, it won't really bother me if there's not any more updates, but I hope there is because there are some bugs like that one that needs to be addressed. And there's some more stuff that I want. One, I want the main, the minor bugs fixed because they are annoying. And I want the transfer map zoom functionality to be the same as VX Ace. They finally added it in, but I want it to be better. I want it to be four buttons: one to one scale, half scale, one fourth, and then one eighth. If they put that in, it'll be perfect. What they have now works, but it's not what I want. It it's it's there, but VX Aces is better. It's perfect. If they can fix the minor bugs and fix the transfer map zoom to VX Aces version. I will redo my review and give this a perfect 10 out of 10 versus 
a five. Because right now it's a five from my from my review, and I'm sticking to that. So, but once those issues get fixed, this would be a perfect ten. And they just they won't do it because mm, I don't know why. I really don't know why. I was I, I wish I knew why they wouldn't fix cert those those certain issues. They fix everything else, and yet they break stuff as well when they fix things. And it's like, mm-hmm. Can we just go back to when we were using VX Ace and not have shit broken? Except for like that one thing that was just a, a, a text error, but it's, but it's certain functionality still worked. That'd be grand. Or its functionality supposedly worked, despite having a text error. Like, now don't, be, don't get me wrong. I love MZ. The cool features it has, like this list right here. I love that. I love being able to look through this list. And be like, what event do I need to work on? Okay, I need to work on this one. VX Ace does not have that. I love the... I like this, but I wish I could also code with this. Instead of having to download a third-party app. If VX Ace can do built-in coding, why can't JavaScript do the same thing? It makes no sense. It makes no sense. And JavaScript is a stronger coding language than Ruby is. And you're telling me that Ruby can do built-in coding language and JavaScript cannot do it? How does that logic work? I'm sorry. I love this feature as well. I can search for events. Oh wait, I don't need this at all because it's over here on the left. So the event searcher is redundant. It's redundant. I love this. This is a much better version than what VX Ace had. And we can also make children. And they're not doing the stupid pedo stare either. Thank God. VX Ace had a pedo stare. It was. It, it's, it's scary. Trust me. It, it's. Oh, nightmares. Horrible nightmares. <coughs> horrible, horrible nightmares. Alright, let's retexture this one. And then I will start adding the grass. Because, I mean, I've not really done anything yet. I've just been rambling on. So. What texture do I want? I... Eh. Honestly... Let's make it wood. Yeah, I think it would. How about that? Let's make it a cabin, sure. Why not? It won't hurt. We'll have one be a wooden house. It won't hurt. I've basically used everything else. <coughs> oh, fudge. That was a good one. Holy crap. On a cracker. <laughs> Crack on a cracker. <laughs> it won't make sense to put um, this on the roof because, well, it's a wooden roof, but I really don't care. No, you don't go there. <laughs> I 
I wonder. Hold on now. Okay, I, I want. I'm gonna do some art. I'm curious. Hold on. Eh. 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 No. <laughs> Nope, it didn't work. I was trying to make a smiley face, but it didn't work. Damn it. No. I went too apart, yes. Yes, there we go. Okay, cool. And that one is Dunzoed. Now to add the grass. And where grass makes sense. So let's see, where would grass make sense? Well, obviously in front of the buildings. But not too much. I could add a little park as well with a fountain. Or I can have a park and like a fountain like right here. So hmm. I think I need to fix that up there actually. Hold on. Yeah, I kind of do. No, not there. There we go. That's fixed now. Cool. Alright, so grass where it makes sense. It'll be in front of basically around the buildings like I did down below but not <clears throat> but not as sporadic like I did so maybe if I'm able to That's too wide, okay. That might work around the buildings, maybe around the entire thing. Where grass makes sense. That's what I saw in the images I looked at. Cause you have to have grass around the buildings for children to play and adds color as well to the map. And you have to have, you know, obviously trees for shade, flowers for color and everything else too because having the map just be brick or stone it makes no sense so yeah that'll work okay if my arm will freaking cooperate so we're starting to jump and jitter on me which is annoying Ugh, okay, whatever then. I'll just deal with it. I don't care. Alright, so they'll share a plot of land, but that's okay.
Yeah, honestly, this kind of works. Once I get some trees and whatnot in it, it'll, ma it'll make more sense. And I could honestly expand it more if I wanted. But I think two is good enough for now. Yeah, this is going to work, I think. And I can always add more as well if I need to, which is not a big deal. I just wish there was an easier way to do this, but there's not. I mean, I... Crap, I hit the microphone. Um, hmm. How many more do I have? Okay. Six more to go? I mean, that's not bad. Do this part and then add all the trees and whatnot. Or. I don't know, honestly, who knows? My nose is itching. Damn freaking nose hairs, I swear. You know, that is definitely a nose hair in there. Holy crap, that's a long one. Can I maybe get it out? Ow. I got one, nice. I keep hitting the damn microphone. So that one is done. Yeah, actually grass does make sense because you need a training ground. I need to fix that as well. Where is that at? That's not where it is. Um, it's the angel. There it is. And that's fine, I can fix it.
Okay. <clears throat> I got three more to go. All right, so that part is uh, done. Actually, yeah, that does look a lot better. Then I can add more grass where I feel like it's necessary. All right, cool. How do I want the part to look? <clears throat> Actually, you know what? Hold on. Let's see here. I want to put a park or something like up here. Up in this area, but where? How do I want to do it?
Okay. I think I'll have to ponder on this for a while. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think of how big I want it. Here's what I want to do. I want to go ahead and cart this off the best I can because my arm, like I said earlier, it is giving me fit, so it's been extremely difficult to to do this. Actually, no, I, I can just use this fencing too, and then just fill it in. But I gotta then do this. No. No, no, I gotta uh, this and there we go. Got it. All right, and then I want to fill. I want Uncle Phil, and I want to do this. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's the perfect size for it. All right, so I don't. I no longer need Uncle Phil. I need trees. Actually, do I want to put water in it? Or do I want to put the fountain over here? Or do I save the fountain for up here? I mean, I could do a park and then a fountain. Like right over here. I can do a small fountain over here. Hmm. So many ideas flowing through my head. Actually, now you know what? That's a good idea. I can do a fountain, and I see the perfect area for it right now. <clears throat> yeah, I see the perfect area for it right now, actually. Um. I see the perfect area for it. Yeah. This is going to work. <laughs> we'll put water here. So I need Uncle Phil again. We'll put water there. And then I want a fountain. Do I have a fountain tile set? Or is that an event only thing?
That's an event only. Okay. Fair enough. Actually, how far in can you see into the water? Seven squares. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can see that far in. On either side. So then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're seven over here. So seven is here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And then, so you can see up to here and you can see up to here basically. You can see, yeah. And how I did that is, I looked at the, um, you can kind of see the grid in the water. And I counted each grid, because you can kind of, like I said, you can kind of see the grid layout in the water. So I counted it. And you can also see the grid in the stone as well. So... Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine plus eight. That's your field of view with the basic screen. Now, if we were to increase that. you get even more. Was I likes. But I don't like how this is here. At all. I really don't. But it'll have to stay there because if I make that any bigger then none of them none of this fits where you know at normally everything in the menu is stretched out if I make it bigger and I don't like that at all so that will have to stay there unfortunately I'm not going to change the size of that if I can make that button go away I would but I don't know how to do that and that might be only there for my end as well it might not be there on the actual player side I don't know. <clears throat> if it is there on the player side, again, I have no idea how to make it go away at all. But, yeah, so this is how much you see. That's not bad. And again, you can still see the grid. You can still see the tiles, like one, two, three, four. Yeah, and it, and it moves with you as well. So. Honestly, it doesn't look half bad. And I don't have the um eight directional movement on either. I mean, I could turn that on. It is a plug-in. But I want the old school feel of the game. Like I want old school game feel where you only have four directional move, not eight. Because this is a, a a 2D game. So back in the day, you wouldn't have that. 
honestly, playing the game as it is, having the grass where it makes sense, actually makes sense. Yeah, and then the rest of it is stone. I like that actually, I really do. <clears throat> one, one more feature I would love to add, but I don't know how to do that, is um, proper footsteps. That more than likely requires um, coding. But if if I could do that with just the base RPG Maker event system, I would, in a heartbeat. Make it to where as soon as you walk on stone, you you hear your footsteps walking on stone. Then when you walk on grass, you hear grass. And you know if you walk on water, you hear water. <clears throat> but I'm not able to do that. I've actually gotten to the point to where I have actually started eventing maps before, not with MZ, but with VX Ace, and I've looked into it, and you can't do it. <coughs> and both VX Ace and MZ have the same event system, so if VX Ace cannot do it, then neither can MZ. But maybe I'm wrong on that. I will look into it when I get to that point. Yeah, this actually looks pretty good. I mean, I could use some more grass, but... <clears throat> Do I really need more grass? I mean, that's the question. Like, in my opinion, the grass where it is now... It makes sense. I probably could add more buildings. But do I need more buildings? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. I think I have more than enough buildings, honestly. And it doesn't take that long to walk across the map. Like, you don't need dashing at all or running. Like, yeah, you don't really need running at all. Like, to me, this is running. You're, you're, you're walking faster than most of the NPCs will be so you won't need actually you know what I wonder hold on I'm I wanna time it I'm curious how long does it take to walk from one side of the map to the other where's my timer on my phone I'm curious um it's right here um timer No, I want maybe stopwatch then? Yes, okay. <clears throat> Alright, so that's time how long it takes me to go from one side to the other. Let's see, been three seconds so far without run. So six seconds, ten seconds now. I might have to turn here in a bit. We'll, we'll see. So 15 seconds so far. Which is not bad. So I have to turn now, which is fine. So that adds more time, which is what I want. My phone went to sleep. So 30 seconds now. Well, now actually. So half a minute so far. And we're halfway through the map. This is the half point we just passed. So we gotta turn again, which adds more time, which is what I want. Because screw speedrunners. It's been a minute almost. It's a minute now, okay. We're almost to the end, I can feel it. Minute 14. 
I mean, that's not bad. A minute 14 to walk from one side to the other. I mean, that's not bad at all, honestly. Speedrunners can handle that. I mean, like, I mean, I could add dashing and it would cut that time in half. But there's no point. Now, I could be a real deuce nugget. I could be a real douche nugget. Now watch this. <laughs> and I and I actually might do this too. Just to really piss off speedrunners. <laughs> Set move route. Oh, you're gonna hate me, speedrunners. You're gonna hate me so much. Parallel. And then erase the event. <laughs> You're gonna hate me for this one, speedrunners. Oh, <laughs> uh, I could be a dick. <laughs> I could be a dick. <laughs> and I might do it too. <laughs> Uh, I could be a freaking dirty dick and I might do it just fuck speedrunners <laughs> speedrunning needs to be illegal in my opinion they take the fun out of all the games and that's my opinion if you don't like my opinion don't watch my content Gotta close this out to say battery. <coughs> All right. Yeah, so let's be a, f a park and I'll be a fountain over there for water. Okay, cool. Alright. But I think I'm going to go ahead and put a cut here. And I will see you guys maybe later on today or definitely tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow. Depends on what I'm doing tomorrow. Who knows. I've been watching a lot of One Piece and I'm catching up quick. I mean like the episodes 900s. They're fighting Kaido, which I'm looking forward to that fight because reasons. So yeah, I'm almost caught up with One Piece. But anyway, so if you guys are are ha, if you guys enjoyed the, the video, even though I didn't get much done, feel free to subscribe, like, and of course hit the bell. And feel free to comment below any ideas you would like to see in my game. And if I am able to implement your ideas, I will. If I'm not able to, I am sorry. But I do not know how to code JavaScript at all. So I, if I'm not able to, I apologize because of that. Everything I'm doing with this project is strictly with the event editor itself and that is what RPG Maker first started with it did not originally come with a script language at all and that is what I'm going to make my game with as well is with no coding or no scripting because I have no idea how to code and no idea how to script. The current plugins I do have are pre-made ones so those are exceptions. Someone else made them they are commercial free use unless specified otherwise which if that happens not a big deal I don't care I will remove them. Not a big deal. But anyways have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.